everyone again um you find me this morning this is the third morning of my barn owl project and i'm actually in my older maid hide um which is a bit actually more restrictive than my other hide um which is portable and it's a dome hide but so this one's a bit more cramped but um i've come out really early again um the light is so frustrating it's absolutely gorgeous um i managed to get in here with, with the vlogging camera and my lens um it's all a bit of a squeeze is saying here and um the light this is the light you dream of is as, as good as it was the other day it's just gone sunrise we had a lovely sunrise which i just did a little time lapse of looking out of the, the uh of the hive and you can't really see through this because it's, it's too bright but i'll do a little clip and it's just this wonderful golden light you get at sunrise So the previous height I was looking very much, the, the, the owl was flying into the sun, so the reason I'm using this this morning, the forecast was good, was to try and get a different angle, side lighting rather than light straight on the owl. So, um, But this is the frustration, uh, he should have been here by now. Um, sun, sun has come up, I got in here when it was still pretty dark, or sort of, you know, it was half an hour before sunrise. Um, and that's often when they hunt. This one does seem to hunt late, but I'm worried that I should have seen him by now, um, and it's one of those situations where in wildlife hope you've got, you know, you've got perfect light. Um, we're in the hide, we know he's around somewhere, and he just doesn't turn up. So um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed um, that he does. As you can see, gloves on, everything green, uh, I'm trying to make myself invisible. So while we're waiting, I'm going to do my uh, DIY lesson and I just thought I'd show you how I built my hide. This is about three years ago. Um, all pretty self-explanatory really, but um, obviously it takes a little bit longer than you're seeing here. Um, but the key thing for me was designing the windows. I wanted to have maximum flexibility uh, and I wanted to be able to see outside the hide from left to right without the birds seeing me so you can see when they're coming. So I got from a craft fair shop, I bought these flexible perspex rectangles and then I got some mirrored reflective film which you have to attach to it which is a little bit more complicated but it means you've got this um, great ability to see a lot more of the field and the venue where you are but the birds can't see and you can just have your camera um, lens poke through the middle. So for whatever reason, you do worry about the barn owls. I worry about them, and you wonder, well, you know, why haven't they turned up? Um, I have been concerned about this one because he's been hunting, you know, a little bit later and more during the day and daylight hours than I would worry, which does imply either he's very confident 
and there's no he hasn't been mobbed by many crows here or there's no disturbance um, or he's starving hungry and obviously if they're starving hungry you worry you know worry about it but I know I've seen him catch voles in this field which is why he's using it so who knows the reason the weather's perfect it's not been raining um, he should be out here but but hey if it was that easy everyone would be doing it Well, that's been about another hour. Um, it's now getting, you know, a little bit late. He, he, it's half eight now, and he was hunting yesterday around about quarter nine, nine o'clock. But of course, he'd been coming backwards and forwards, um, and not a, not a thing, not a sausage. Um, so I'm going to call it a day. It's a shame the lights now picked back up again. It's really, really perfect. Give you an idea on my camera. I'm shooting at, you know, I'm using. I'm getting a 16th, 1600 the F4 with ISO of 140. I'm using auto ISO, um, which is crazily good light um, for a, a you know for a barn out shoot. Um, but what you do need is a barn out. So um, I'm going to leave him to it wherever he is. Hopefully we'll be back in the next few days. Um, there's some fog forecast. And I've got to go back. I'm going to go back to my short tail out site as well um, over the next few days. So fingers crossed for that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. Um, and uh, a lot of my photography on the wildlife side, I try and do conservation work. I do more conservation work than I do photography. So things like um, this Barnard project is just one of them. Um, and they mean a lot to me. So, um, you know, if everyone did that little bit, you just imagine if everyone spent two or three hours a year in this country, every person in the country spent two or three hours a year just doing a little conservation work, whether it be feeding birds or putting up nest boxes or whatever it is, um, it would make a huge difference. Um, so until then, um, thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon. This is, this is crazy. I just moved the camera because I wanted to do a different shot with the uh, you know, vlogging camera. And I was literally packing up, I'd actually put some of my stuff away already. And Al's just come back, and he's on the far post. When I looked up, he was flying around, he flew right in front of the hide. So I had to be very quiet. I can't turn the camera around. I got, he's landed now on the, on one of the far um, sort of feed stations on the sort of tables. And uh, I've got him on film, but I'm just fingers crossed fingers, he's come back. It's it's still perfect light, and it's it's far too late really again. But I was so lucky; I was literally just about to go. Um, and I'm just fingers crossed that he'll maybe fly around. He he looks like he wants to hunt, so um, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to keep very quiet. Just to stay here for at least and I hope he comes back and if we're really lucky hopefully he'll come back and, and he was flying over these uh, the posts here so I'm just really really hoping that he comes back just for one last time before we back up
But thanks for watching. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments if you've got any. And um, subscribing is always useful because it makes it uh, does make me realise that uh, people are watching these things. So take care, uh, enjoy your photography, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you soon. The perfect summer is over in a flash, and you're on your way. Somebody near is open for tonight. It's not. All I